Hello, my name is Ditech, CTO of DVS, and today we're going to take a look at the marvelous new online tools from Hike Vision. The four new tools online are designed to make your life very, very easy to be able to design systems and storage from anywhere in the world online. So it will vastly help you to help us or whoever you use to buy your equipment from. So the four tools include lens selection, thermal design tool, intercom designer, which is the best one, and the network and storage calculator. So stay tuned while we transfer to my laptop to take a closer look at what these four tools will do for you. Okay, and welcome back. So first, navigate to this homepage. I use Mozilla or Chrome. Internet Explorer doesn't work that well, so I suggest that you don't use that. Once you've navigated to this web page, you'll see the current four options available. So I'm going to log out. I suggest you click login and then register. I've already registered, click login. This will make it easy for the two tools there to be used. These two tools you don't need to register for. So simply storage your network first, very simple. Click on that, select the camera number. So we will call 16 cameras, H265, four megapixel, skip past that and 25 frames a second click add you've got a couple of options when you do this so i can set the terabyte that i have so i could have eight terabyte drives which will give me 11 days at 24 hours recording so if i've got 12 hours recording so if 50 percent based on motion i'll get 22 days it's as simple as that i can click on calculate disk space and say i need 30 days which will tell me i need 22 terabytes at 24 hours recording I can also look at the bandwidth that, that I will need for the system to be able to run properly. And I can export the details and save it to a desktop to give to the customer, to send to us or for your own record. So it really is as simple as that. So I highly suggest you start using that. Next one along is the thermal design tool. Now with the thermal design tool, you've got two options. You've got the T2, T2, T2 D view, which is input a map, which we're going to do because it's very simple to do that. It could be a CADID drawing. Or you can use GIS map. If I use GIS map, I can simply type the postcode in or zip code, select our property, zoom in, and you can see the DVS compound there. But we're going to go back to 2D view because this is the most common way I find that I will use this. So what I do normally is Google the DVS compound first. DVS map. It's a nice, easy way of doing this. Switch the satellite mode. Zoom in as required. And I simply right click, measure distance, measure across the front of the building. So about 50 meters there. And then I simply screenshot this with the distance in it for reference. So giving you all my hints and tips. Save as. To the desktop, DVS external, save it as a JPEG file and click save, close that down, close that down and then I simply import the picture. You can see that the measured line is in the image so it's nice and easy to make that as a reference and I can simply add the cameras as required. So this is for the thermal cameras. Let's change the name on that to DVS external. So I've got a reference to it and click OK. And I can simply choose my camera and give it a camera name and then add cameras as required. So I need to scale it. So we need to click scale first using the ruler. So 50 meters. OK. So that gives us, when we import the cameras into the map, it will give us the correct VCA distance required. So click add camera. So that will add this camera here. So I can give that a name and just say camera one. Mountain height, five meters, etc. So I can adjust all of the parameters as needed and the hike VCA, or I can actually select custom temperature measurement, fire detection, and the target width is 1.8 and 0 0.5, which is a typical human. Bring this required camera to the position so i'm going to fit it here and then you've got the behavior analysis um is green but i can change that 
to whatever color I want. Zoom out and you can see the maximum distance for VCA is 147 um, based on a human size of that. But So that lens size is probably going to be too big because we're going to overspill outside of the compound. But I can adjust that as required. And then zoom in on the map a little bit. So that's probably the wrong lens size. So what we'll do is get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Let's choose a different camera. And you've got the T ones are the fire detection ones. So it's as simple as going through and selecting the appropriate camera for the installation. So 10 mil, or you can actually um, keyword search for a, a lower. So this one here, for instance. So we'll select this one. Yep, seven mil, camera one, that's fine. Click add, and you can see the VCA distance is much smaller and therefore much more appropriate for the site. So you can give a very accurate overlay on the map of what the detection will look like, where to install the thermal cameras, what height and what angle. And if you're using them for VCA, uh, for custom or temperature or fire detection. So next one, I can actually choose a different one and let's choose so a, a, a 35 mil. And if I add that camera, you can see the overlay distance is massive in comparison. So you adjust it as required. Change that one back to a seven mil or even a 10 mil. So you can see there, it's nice and simple. You can add people into there and drop the people in. So you get an idea of what a vehicle and a human look like within the scene. You can add borders so it doesn't overspill. So you can click on, so this is a compound. So it gives you your compounded area there. So that's the area you want to focus on. Other than that, it's very, very simple to do. Click on a camera as well and click view detection or view details and it'll give you the details of the cameras added, focal left, mountain height, etc. And then it's as simple as exporting that. So I want to save that. So that's saved as DVS external. And then if I want to export that to send to either us, the customer, etc., click export. Project name, DVS external, project designer, DD. You can replace the logo. So I could go in, find one of DVS, etc., and save that. Click on OK. Save the file to my desktop. And there you have your thermal design with the camera list. So nice and simple to use. So I hope you start using that. We add, if you use the online ones, they add the cameras that come online much more quickly than using the installed version on your desktop. So really, really suggest you go and play around with it. If you need any help, give us a call. So back to the home page. Okay, so the length selection is for the visible camera range. So it's as simple as this. Give it a name, which I already have done. Click on 2D view map. So we're gonna use the same process. Okay, so we're going to add the map again, DVS external, okay, zoom in, zoom in, set the ruler to 50 meters, and click okay. We're going to choose our camera, so we'll use a popular model here in the UK. Done. And it's as simple as this, we're going to add the camera. Click on the camera icon there to add the first one here. So you've got a couple of cameras. So what we'll need to do is increase the distance to say 40 meters. Same with this one. So get this into position. Turn it around again, 40 meters. So I base all mine on the IR length of the camera. Um, 
if you're using it in IR mode, the, it's only gonna, the image will only be as good as the infrared distance at its maximum. So you can see there, you've got confirmed, recognized, detected areas. So that'll give you the field of view at that uh, focal length, distance, mountain height, etc. But you can also <coughs> click on settings and change those as required if you want to be really clever. And you simply just keep adding cameras, you know, changing the model. So I may change the model now and say it's a box camera. It's not, I'm not going to use a box camera, but you know, there we go. Um, click add camera. So this one now may be fitted on a post here. Again, adjust as required. It's really as simple as that. Once you've finished on that, you can click save. So that's saved in there. <clears throat> you can send it. So you, you copy the URL and send it to someone, or you can simply export, same as before. If you save them, when you go back into the online tool and log in, those will be saved under your login. That's why you have to register. So you can adjust them as required. So you've got the mountain view and a kit list there. If you want that 2D view saved, you're probably better off sending the link, which will give them that view there. Um, other than that, that's that one. So if we go back to the home page, so we've done thermal storage, thermal and lens selection. The next one, which is one of my favorites, is the intercom designer. For those of you that struggle with intercoms, this really is beneficial. So click on intercom designer. We're gonna base this on the modular intercom, although the other range is in there. We're gonna choose our style of building. So we're just gonna select apartment. We're gonna select an IP solution, although you can use the two wire solution. And we're gonna select the new modular. Click next. So it's as simple as this. You have to start off with one main module. That is as simple as that. Then we select what sub modules we want. So we probably need one keypad module. For instance, we're gonna have the LCD module, the indicator module, and say, pff, the reader module and let's complete it with a name tag just a blanket module then okay so that's what the intercom will look like although you can move them around to suit so they will give you the represented layout that you would see you know on the wall or you could fit them in one massive thing but then that'll be bloody huge once you've done that you click next mountain type so we're going to use the flush or the wall let's use the surface mount one so we need two of those the three modules there and we need two of the rain shields um to protect them because they're going outside but you can choose flush mount and choose the appropriate ones so click next next what do we need to choose for the indoor stations? You can have the ones that support Wi-Fi. So if you click that, it narrows the choice down. But for instance, if we're gonna use the this module here, and we're gonna have 150 of these, and we're gonna have one master station. So again, click next. Accessories, well, we need one of those for the door. We need 10 of these, for instance, 10 switches. Electric lock, so we might need uh, one mag lock. Then we might need 400 of these cards or 300 of these cards. Then, or choose it, you can choose the external card readers, etc. exit buttons. So you might want one exit button, one break glass, <clears throat> and you might want an external reader to go with that. But we're going to click next. Oh, we need to select the bracket. So we're going to select a um, click next. So basically that gives me an overview. You can export the list now. PDF. Click OK. Save it. Open it up. And this basically gives you your intercom design. Again, full kit list. So it tells you exactly what the part numbers are. I've asked them to put images, so when, you know, moving forward, we should get images under there, so it makes it even nicer to look at. But full kit list, you can send it to us, and then that gives you, like, the images down there, you know, a brief overview. But basically, a full kit list you can send to us to verify, but you can also give it to your customer as part of the quote pack. 
hopefully you found that really interesting. If you need any more help, please contact us. But I urge you to go and start testing those tools. Any feedback, please let us know. Other than that, have a great day, have a great week, and see you next week for another how-to video.